Hi there folks, welcome to Oceans Unlimited, and uh, we're going to be bringing you another in our series covering Coast Guard License Exam Prep. We're going to be taking a look at stability questions that are going to ask you to find a vessel displacement using a hydrostatic curve. Now, this is a diagram that you will need and it's going to be provided to you during the exam as part of the Data Reference Guide, also known as the Blue Pages. I think there's white pages too, but we're going to be doing the Blue Pages. Our resources are going to be coming from Stability and Trend for the Ship's Officer, 4th edition, pages 89 through 95. And the exam questions that we're going to be looking at today are on the deck safety portion. So this is the hydrostatic curve sheet. Uh, this is what it looks like. Obviously, it's pretty busy. There's a lot of different lines on here, and there's a lot of different data that you can derive from this particular table. And as you can see, it's not always necessarily blue, but uh, as you can see down here in the corner, you know, it definitely says yeah, it's a blue sheet. So we're just gonna go with that. We're gonna be looking today at questions that involve the displacement, which is the top row here. We're gonna be uh, finding that number based on this set of numbers here. That's your, your drafts. So we're gonna be using the draft displacement and then there's gonna be two curves in the middle, the fresh water and the salt water displacement curves here. So you can pretty much ignore any of the other lines on the chart for now, but they're going to come into play in future videos when we look at different types of questions. All right, our first example, your drafts are 23 feet, three inches forward, 24 feet, one inches aft, Use the blue pages of the Stability Data Reference Book to determine the vessel's displacement if you are in fresh water. Okay, so first thing we're gonna to need to figure out, and this is a case with a lot of different stability type questions, we want the mean draft. So whenever we're finding the mean draft, we are interested in the draft here, in the midpoint between the forward and aft drafts. So we have 23, 0, 3 forward, 24, 0, 1 aft. So we're going to want to find the average to find the estimated midship draft. So we're just going to add the two drafts together for this first step. You get 47, 0, 4. So now we've combined the two drafts here. We just divide by 2 to get the average. You get 23 there plus a 12, 16 divided by two, so we have zero, eight. So our answer is 23 feet, eight inches for our midship draft. So we're gonna take our 23 feet, zero, eight inches, and we're gonna plug it into where we have the mean draft here on the left-hand side of the chart. So 23 and eight inches, it's like 23, just, a, just about 23 and three quarters. So right about here. So we look back at our question text, we see that we're looking for the fresh water curve. So that means we want the fresh curve here, not the bottom one. So based off of our fresh water curve, we have an intersection point right about here. And there we go. And that's gonna give you 12,000. So our answer here, 12,000 tons, so answer C, no problem. 12,000 tons, not too bad, right? So question number two, our example is, your drafts are 24 feet, nine inches forward, 27 feet, two inches aft. Use the blue pages of the stability reference book to determine the vessel's displacement if you are in salt water. So we're switching water types, different curve this time. And again, we're gonna want our mean draft. So we're just gonna add our forward draft, 24 feet, nine inches to 27 feet, two inches, our aft draft. And this is gonna give us 51, 11 inches. So combined, we have 51 feet, 11 inches. And then we're just going to divide, divide by two again. About 25 feet. 
the 12 inches. So we got 11 plus 12 left over, 23. That gives us 11 and a half inches. That's our midship draft. This is right on the nose of 26 feet. That's probably going to be an easier thing to graph if we just round it up. And there we go. Let's bring on our curve again. So we have a similar situation. We want to be careful to get the right kind of water, right? We have salt water in this question. We had fresh water in the last question. Usually one of the answers is a red hearing that's based on you just mixing up the two. So we want to be careful about using the bottom line this time instead of the top. 26 feet on the draft side here, right about there, boom. So then we're going to inter intersect that with our saltwater displacement line, and that looks to be right about in this neighborhood here. There we go. So we have 13,000 tons here, 13,500, that's 600, between, and, you know, close to 600. And if you look at our answers here, that's the closest one. It's going to be 13,620. So our answer is D. So we're going with D. 13,620. No problem. So that's going to wrap things up for our displacement questions using the hydrostatic curves. Hope you found this interesting or useful. We're going to be circling back to the hydrostatic curve in the future for different topics. This just happens to be the most easy point of entry for learning how to use this particular chart. And we're going to see it again when we go back and cover other questions like this. And of course, more topics in the future. All right. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.